Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa. So today I have a book haul video for you. I've gotten quite a lot of books. Well, not really a lot um, compared to some book hauls, but I do have quite a quite a few books that I've had. I would share with you some of some of them I have gotten from thrift stores. Um, some of them are book of the month, and then some of them are. Amazon finds, it looks like. <laughs> so if you're interested in this book haul, stay tuned and let's get into this. So I think I'm just going to start at the top of the pile and go for this one. So this is The Rescue by Nicholas Sparks. I have read Nicholas Sparks books before and I really enjoyed them. I found this one at the thrift store for a dollar and I thought I would give it a try. This is one that I have not read so I don't really know a whole lot about it but it looks like there might have been some fires and some accidents and I don't know something going on but I am really interested in this one because I do really love Nicholas Sparks books. Um, I know some people don't but I really do love them and so I really wanted to give this one a try and so it was a dollar and so I thought I'd pick it up. Then the next one I found at the same thrift store is The Guardian by Dee Henderson. This is book two of the O'Malley series. I have read these a long time ago and it follows these uh, adopted brothers and sisters. They kind of went through the system together and they never were adopted out. Um, so when they were old enough and they, you know, uh, aged out of the system, they all created their own family and they all adopted each other and they all changed their names to O'Malley. Um, so it follows each one of the siblings and then this one follows, I think it's, let's see, um, the, uh, this one follows Marcus O'Malley, the marshal. Um, so yeah, so each one are kind of like, um, kind of like, uh, um, a drama. Um, uh, it does have some romance in it, but it is like, um, I'm trying to think of how to like explain it um basically it says a federal judge's murder murder there's only one witness and then only one man can help her so basically it follows a girl who was in the wrong place uh, at the wrong time and she's seen who the killer was and now this um marshal has to protect her and stuff like that so it's a very good series i really enjoyed it um, back when i read it a long time ago but i really wanted to get them again and maybe read them again and see if I still enjoy them as much as I did back then. But, but yeah, so I picked that one up. The next one I picked up at the same thrift store is Oh My Goth by Jenna Showalter. And it says, um, I don't know like what this one is about. Um, it says, years ago a tragic accident robbed me of my mother and emotions. Because I find beauty in darkness and thrive outside social norms, I've been labeled a freak at school. So I think it's basically, oh yeah, it says, then she wakes up in alter, alternate reality and everything else has changed. Goth is now in and she's considered cool. Um, so, um, so yeah, it sounds like it's going to be interesting. I found it for a dollar and I have heard of this author and I think I might have a book of hers, but I thought I would give it a try. So, it was a dollar. Then, next one I found is Unmasking Lady Car Caroline by Mindy Burbridge Strunk, Struck. I don't know how to say it. Um, this is Bells of Christmas, book one. And you guys know how I love Christmas books. Um, so, the little tagline says, She thought the mask would protect her identity, but she underestimated her determin his determination to discover who she was. So it sounds like it's going to be like a, kind of a masquerade, like Cinderella story almost. Um, so, so yeah, I thought I would get this one because I do love Christmas books. So, and Christmas is coming up. So the next two were my book of the month picks for, I don't even know like what month these were for. Um, the first one I picked up is Star Daughter by Savetti. I don't know how to say the name. Um... And this one, I think, follows a girl who is uh, her mother's star. And I think she has to basically choose um, between her, like, 
saving her father and becoming a star herself or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere. Um, but I do love the color cover and I really, it, you know what it screams to me? You know that, uh, that, uh, movie Stardust where the star like falls from the sky. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that in a different way, but it kind of like reminds me of that. And so, um, so yeah, I'm interested in it. I think it sounds really cool. This one I bought, I got because this one sounds so good to me. It's called The Space Between Worlds by M Micaiah Johnson. I love this cover. I think it is the coolest cover. Um, it says, my mother used to say I was born reaching, which is true. She also used to say I w it would get me killed, which it hasn't. Not yet, anyways. And I believe this follows a girl who can um, multiverse travel. Um, and yes, uh, she can multiverse travel, but she can, you can only visit where your doppelganger has already passed away or your counterpart. So she has, I guess her life has been cut short on 372 worlds. So she, she's like the only one that can travel like to all these worlds because her counterpart's already dead. But I guess one of her counterparts had died mysteriously. So she tries to figure out what happens to her i think that's how it was um yeah and it plunges her into a new world with an old secret so it sounds like it's gonna be really interesting and i really really do love this cover i don't know what it is about this cover but i am like drawn to it and i love like sci-fi type books but look at the back oh it's just it's so pretty i love it i love it so that one sounded so good so of course i had to pick it um, next one, I finally picked up uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This is the Hufflepuff House Edition. Um, so I finally picked it up, and I'm so excited to finally have it. I love these editions. They're just so beautiful, and I've got three already. So now I finally got the fourth one to add to my collection. And I got this one off of Amazon. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited. And of course, it's got the, the spray pages. So then... I found at a thrift store, South Dakota Curiosities, which is, I live in North Dakota, but I just thought this was kind of funny. Um, so it just shows different things, um, like different curiosities throughout the state of things that like have happened or historical things, I guess. Um, so I just thought it would be kind of interesting. I love learning about history kind of like this, like weird history. I, I just think it's really neat. Um, so I thought I would uh, pick it up and give it a try and just flip through it when I feel like it. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be a fun time. Then I picked up Eyes Like Stars by uh, Lisa Mench Menchive. Um, this one looks like um, it follows... Ooh, let's see. It follows a girl. It says, okay, I'm just going to read this to you because it's hard to explain. It says, welcome to the theater Luminate, 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 where the characters of every play ever written can be found behind the curtains. The actors are bound to the theater by the book, an ancient and magical tome of script. Birdie is not one of these actors, but they are her family, and she is not about to lose them all because the book has been threatened along with the theater. It's only it's the only home Bertie has ever known and she has to find a way to save it. But first, there's a small problem of two handsome men, both vying for her attention. A, the course of true love never did run smooth. Sounded so interesting. So I was like, yes. And I really do like the cover with like the fairies and stuff. I think that's really neat. So it sounds really interesting. So I thought I would give it a try. I think it was like a dollar. Did I get this at the thrift store? I think I did. I think it was like a dollar or 50 cents, something like that. The next one I found at the thrift store, I did pick it up. I already have a copy, but this is a signed first edition copy. So I did pick this one up because it is indeed signed by the author. So I think I will um, take my other one and unhaul it and keep this copy instead. Um, I really do love signed first editions. But this is Replica. Um, I think this has to do with, it says two girls, two stories, one epic novel, 
turned over for Ly Ly Lyra's tail. So I think like they're a clone of each other and they kind of like intertwine. I don't know, somehow. I've always been interested in this book and I did start it a while back but I haven't actually finished it. So I really do want to, and I think it is actually like, um, so you get to this part. So you get to this part and you read it this way and then you go and you flip the book over and then you start from this way. So it's, it's interesting to me. So anyways, um, so yeah, I did get, get this because it was a signed first edition, so. And then I think this was my book club pick um, whew, a while back. Um, this is Head Over Heels by Hannah or Orenstein. Orenstein. Um, she's determined to stick the land in. And I think this has... Um, she has wanted to be an Olympic... Uh, to make the Olympic gymna gymnastic team. But I guess a, a disastrous performance ended her career. Um, I guess her best friend went on to be the champion and, um, they, she committed the ultimate betrayal by marrying their coach. Um, now, reeling from a breakup of her foot, foot star, football star boyfriend, Avery returns to a Massachusetts hometown where, where her old acquaintance, Ryan's, Ryan, now coach, asked her to help him train Haley, a promising young gymnast with um, Olympics aspirations. So it sounds like it's going to be like, she's going to train, she's going to fall in love. It sounds like it's going to be really good. So, so yeah. So those are all the books that I've acquired recently. I don't think I've acquired any more books as of late. I, I did pre-order some books because I have no chill whatsoever. And these are books that I'm really anticipating. So I did pre-order a few copies of books, but other than that, that is all the books I purchased. Oh, I did. Ha I do have one coming in the mail. I did purchase another book and I do have it coming in the mail. It is, um, what is it called? It's the second book to well met, which I've already read well met and loved it. So I did order the second book. I didn't even realize that it had already come out came out so I found out through another booktube friend well not booktube actually bookstagram friend so I'm like I have to go and order that so that one is coming in the mail so um but other than that I haven't really bought a whole lot of books surprisingly anyways um so that is all I have for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul um let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of any of these books that I picked up and if um you have read any of them and if you think they're good let me know um whatever hit me up in the comments um please don't forget to like and subscribe especially if you're new and you would like to see more from me um i try to post regularly uh, it's been a struggle lately with homeschool and uh work and stuff so it has been a struggle but there is videos coming <laughs> um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys